last week on the show. Now we finally have a structure in place, but that puts a lot of work on our plate. We need to get this building weather tight and in a hurry. The first thing we want to do is get our roofing materials installed. And to be honest, I'm not even going to act like I know everything about a roof, because I really only know enough to make myself dangerous. But I do know two guys that do. So I'm going to leave the explaining to those guys. So what, so how does this open up now? How do I start? How do you want me pose? Like this, like this, like this. Is there any sit, hands in pockets? <laughs> well, there are a lot of products out there these days that are used for roofing. But most commonly here in Newfoundland, 99% of the people go with an asphalt based shingle. But there are a lot of materials that are used in conjunction with the shingle to complete a roofing system. So there are five steps to completing a roofing system. Number one is your eave protection. BP offers two, grip guard, weather text, ice and water protection. The first part of the system is the ice and water shield. This product has an adhesive back that is used for protection on the roof covering to prevent leaks and damages to decking and internal structures from wind driven rain and or water backup due to ice damage. This product is ideal for uses on valleys, ridges, around chimneys, windows, skylights, and as an eave protection. Next, we have a lightweight synthetic roofing underlayment that provides secondary protection from the wind-driven rain under the shingles. The third step in the roofing system is the starter shingle. BP has a starter strip or a tree tab shingle that again provides protection against wind and water infiltration. The fourth part in the process is the shingle itself. The two main types in the market today are the conventional tree tab and the architectural designer shingle. The architectural laminate shingle is a double layered shingle that provides superior protection with an upscale look. It provides a weather tight technology that protects with two extra sealant bands and offers a lifetime limited warranty. The tree tab shingle is a classic shingle that provides a more traditional look and offers a 25 to a 30 year warranty and it comes in a variety of colors. Step five in the process, the final step, as many call it the finishing touch, as you use a cut off classic tree tab shingle for use as the cap. We're gonna start cutting a few caps here for the roof now. So we just use a regular three tab shingle for cap shingles. And we cut about an inch off the back of the shingles because the exposure is six inches long. If you leave that little bit on the back of the shingle, you can, you can see it as you look up the roof line. This is a complete roofing system, or as we call it, the weather tight roofing technology. Okay, so the first step we do is we install the ice and water shield on the eaves. Uh, it protects against ice damming, icicle build up in their high traffic area. Uh, then we install the ice and water shield in all the valleys so it runs straight down, there's no hang ups. Uh, from there, we'll install the synthetic felt membrane, which is protection against you know, uh, water damage, anything else. Um, after there, we install the starter shingle on here. BP has an engineered starter shingle with an extra layer of tar on the bottom to help stick that first shingle on top of it. From there, we put in an aluminum flashing down all the valleys to the top. And after that, that's when we start to put on our shingles, right? We'll pose in this side of the roof first, and then this side over here, and then we do the main roof last, last so we get the proper watershed when the water, majority of the water will run off the main roof, trickle down and out of the valleys.
important when you're doing a roof like this, there's a lot of different peaks and valleys and intersecting gables. You want to make sure you're using a heavier gauge flashing. We like to use uh, 28 gauge aluminum and the proper bending techniques when we're going around corners and into the valleys. Uh, when you're hiring a roofing company to come in and install the shingles on your home, you want to be sure that they're follow S trained. Uh, it's really important to make sure everyone's up to date with their WHSCB coverage and compliant with all the rules and regulations set forth by the Occupational Health and Safety. Uh, for us, we always want to make sure that we're wearing our harnesses at all times and we got all the hazard assessments done in the morning so we know what we're up against in the typical day's work. So one of the things that we really try to make sure to do uh, when we go to a job site is keep the site the way that we found it in the morning. So that means just good housekeeping all day long and always think about the next man coming in, have everything ready for him and you don't want to hang him, him up in any way, a bunch of stuff in his way or, or work not completed. You know? When we go in to do a job for a homeowner, I, look, I really like to walk him through the process as we're doing it instead of just saying uh, we're going to come on this day and we'll be done at this time. You know, That way they got a better understanding of the process as it's all happening so if they got any questions down the road, you know, I can just say, listen, we went over this at this point in time and you know, they just understand the job a little bit better and it makes them have a little easier feeling, I guess, about hiring us to do a roof. Stop by one of our three locations today and get your project started right. Now it's time to start the fun things with Sheldon and Kayla. We're going to pick some colors for the exterior the best way I know how. And it's super simple. We're just going to go for a drive. There's a lot of beautiful subdivisions around town. Today we're going to each one of them for a look and see what tickles Sheldon Kayla's fancy. Most subdivisions have a very specific style so it's easy to hone in on what they want. It came down to these two areas. And with a few little tweaks, this is what we came up with. Iron stone siding, wicker trims, and a little hint of cedar to round it all out. But with the siding, there were a few different profiles to choose from. They landed on the straight cut siding because it replicates traditional clapboard. Another feature they loved were the black windows in several homes. It gives a very modern twist when paired with transoms. Another must have for these two was a garage door that makes a statement something that would give them a modern and contemporary look they both love. And through the miracle of television, we just happen to have our overhead door guys here and ready to install it.
this isn't something that's laying around on a shelf. Proper planning here is critical. Special order items like this take a few weeks to get here, but well worth the wait. Another thing we did for Sheldon is give him an 8 foot high door. These days it's almost essential to accommodate a lifted truck or an SUV. After the break, we're going to finish up our exterior projects. Classical. Modern. Contemporary. With. Or without windows. Sand. Claystone. Mocha. It's a girl I got. So here's a realistic situation. Custom windows and doors. Beautiful. Must have in a home like this. Only one downfall. They're custom. These windows are beauties. Black casement windows with a three and a quarter inch tan brick mold. Not exactly a stock item. In peak construction seasons, you're looking anywhere from six to eight weeks to get these windows arrived to your door. How do we install these windows? Simple. We just follow the instructions provided. Most manufacturers' installation instructions are fairly similar. The biggest part of a successful install is the care and caution taken to ensure that no water or air penetrates past the window. To ensure this is never a problem, we'll backcock the window. Tape around the nailing flange. And install a vinyl drip cap over the window. Remember back to our last episode.
Because we followed the window door schedule, our window slid right in place with no issue. Great job on Jeff's behalf. of some vinyl windows are these built-in J trims that go around the windows, which save us a lot of time and effort in our next project. The siding. Starting our siding off level is huge. Ensuring this starter strip is correctly installed at the start keeps us from having some crazy uneven pieces at the top. A protective layer of approved building paper is next. Notice these little red marks printed on the roll at 8 inch increments. These marks help us ensure we're nailing our siding properly. Once again, tape, tape and more tape around the windows to keep the moisture out. Tape is cheap, but leaks are expensive. Now nailing the siding in place, we're using an electro-galvanized plated nail, as recommended by our manufacturer. We make sure the nail is only driven to a point that keeps the siding snug against the house, but allows some room for movement. The siding will no doubt expand in heat and contract in the cold. some vented soffit in our eaves. And solid in the gable ladders. We finish it all off by bending this flat coil stock into fascia. Toddy install, I must say myself. 